Hey bus converters, welcome back to another episode of Gilligan Phantom where we are turning a school bus into a traveling tiny house. So, we got a refrigerator. It took me like six months to decide on a refrigerator. I ended up going with something really small, cheap, and easy. This is a Danby 7.3 cubic foot refrigerator. It's nice and, well, it's small. I actually think it's a fine size for a refrigerator. But I made a mistake when I was building these walls back in the day, and that's that I made both of these way too shallow. They're not too shallow for the refrigerator because we got a really small refrigerator, like I said, but they're too shallow for the cabinets, and the countertop's gonna come out to here, and it's gonna look really bad. It's already installed and sealed and everything, and I really do not want to replace it. This is another $50 plus sheet of plywood and another $50 plus sheet of plywood, so. I just don't want to spend a hundred dollars right now and I don't want to do the time, I don't want to do the labor of <laughs> scribing. I'm done scribing. I'm not doing any more scribing unless you want me to come scribe on your bus someday. I'll help you, but I'm not doing it for myself anymore. So here's the plan. I'm going to take my old biscuit joiner, which you might have seen me use for the plywood boxes way back in the day, and I'm going to do some slots into here. And then I'm going to cut a piece to add on to here. I'm going to glue it in and probably tape it in so that it glues nice and tight and hopefully it looks okay. Like, it's gonna look a little wonky. These sorts of things, I hope, just add a little bit of character. I mean, and also, I, you just gotta accept it for what it is this, at this point. Like, if you're not a perfectionist, don't worry about it. If you're type A perfectionist like me, you gotta just get it done. Accept it. That's what I'm doing. So I've learned, I've learned to do that, seriously. Okay, so I made those pieces that are gonna go uh, on those walls. And now I'm gonna put some pocket holes in them and put some sealer on them. As soon as they dry, I'm, I might put two coats of sealer. Then when they dry, I will biscuit join them in. So now we just gotta take that off and add some glue and then duct tape it to here, nice and tight. Ew. You don't like parts? Okay, so we did both these sides. I think it looks pretty good. I'm definitely happier with it than spending the time and the money to cut both these again and reseal them three times. I like that. That was that was a cool learning experience. Did you learn anything? Um, that there's uh, frog tape. Yeah, there's frog tape, duct tape, and gorilla glue. Tape. And tape. So we got this thing screwed in top and bottom. We're gonna screw in the sides later because it's a little bit too tight, so it's bowing. So once we attach our shelves, that'll help with that, and then we'll screw it in. So fridge goes in here, and then it gets elevated. And that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna do our elevation platform. Okay. These are the start of our platforms for the refrigerator box step up thing. So this should be 23 and a half. Yeah, let's go cut a piece of wood 23 and a half by 23. Okay. All right, so I have elevated the refrigerator cabinet. I just have two pieces of three quarter plywood here and here, and then this is resting on top of it. Eventually I'll have a drawer here. The back of the refrigerator, so like it can breathe back here. My outlet's down there. Anyways, I'm gonna put this in and then I'll show it to you. 